closer look at this. Yancey Gates punches Kenny Freeze in the head. Cole cocks him right in the side of the head. He wasn't even looking. Freeze falls to the ground. And then Sheik Mooj kicks Freeze as he's trying to get away. Freeze gets attention from the medical staff that high, clearly bloody. Meanwhile, Gates continue to go at it with other players. The senior at Cincinnati native. This is final time in the shootout. Both coaches trying to get their teams under control. But think of the Sinta Center. You have to leave through the same tunnel. So finally, the teams would get off the court. Xavier wins. Let's hear from Holloway after. Yeah, you know, that's what you're going to see from uh, Xavier in Cincinnati. And we, was, we got disrespected a little bit before the game. Guys calling us out. We're a tougher team. We're grown men over here. We got a whole bunch of gangsters in the locker room. Not thugs, but tough guys on the court. And we went out there and zipped them up at the end of the game. That's our motto, zip them up. And that's what we just did to them. I was hearing on Twitter or whatever, one of those guys called me out, said I wouldn't start on um, their team or whatever the case may be. Then those guys saying they were better than us. But you don't talk, you don't talk before the game. It, it always go down. Well, you talk after the game. And you let, you let your player on a uh, court talk for you. If somebody put their hands in your face or try to do something to you, where we from, you're going to do something back. You know, we're not going to sit there and get, get our face beat in by somebody like Yancey Gates or somebody. You don't let that happen. And y'all amp it up so much, it's like, y'all make it an animosity. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't do this. Like, this is a rivalry game, like, which I expect from us. If my players don't act the right way, they will never play another game at Cincinnati. Right now, I just told my guys, I will decide. I need to meet with my AD and my president, and I'm going to decide who's on the team going forward. That's what the University of Cincinnati is about. Period. I told him the way I feel. I've never been this embarrassed. I'm hoping President Williams doesn't ask me to resign after that. I made everybody take their jersey off, and they will not put it on again until they have a full understanding of where they go to school and what the university stands for and how lucky they are to even be there, let alone have a scholarship. Because there's a whole lot of kids that, that can't pay for college. They're all sitting in there with no jersey on. Some of them I physically took them off. Strong words from the coach Mick Cronin right there, the Bearcats. Now, Big East Associate Commissioner Dan Gavitt said this, quote, we will talk to the officials and engage with the coaches and the institutions, so it might take some time. We'll start with what penalties incurred through the game officials and go from there and see what is appropriate. Andy Katz now with more on this melee. The NCAA rule for being involved in a fight is cut and dry. If you throw a punch and the officials deem it to be a fight, you are out for the next game. But that stays with you like a scarlet letter. If you get another fight throughout the course of their season, then you're done for good for that season. Now, I spoke with officials from the Atlantic 10 and the Big East. They're going to review this fight over the next 24 to 36 hours, speak with both schools, hope to speak with both coaches and certainly the officiating crew. They certainly can add to any suspensions that Xavier or Cincinnati decide to put on their respective players. And according to both conferences, they certainly expect there will be multiple suspensions. Now, as for the one player who was bloodied in this mess, Xavier's Kenny Freeze. According to head coach Chris Mack, he said he did sustain quite a black eye, but he's got a week to get better. Well, the Musketeers have now won four of their last five games against their intra-city rivals. Though Cincinnati still leads the all-time series 48-31. But that, of course, not the story of this game.